wanted to do a quick tutorial on using the clone stamp uh, in Pixelmator for OS X. If you'll notice, I have a picture of my daughter here on the beach. And let's say, for example, in this case, I wanted to get rid of the people in the background so it could look like it was just her uh, standing on the beach by herself. Now the cloning tool, of course, does what it, the name says. It takes something and duplicates it over and over again. So if I wanted to, I could actually duplicate my daughter several times on the beach with this tool. But in this case, I want to get rid of the people in the background. So I choose the clone stamp tool. There's a little plus mark in the middle. That's going to be my reference point. So what I would want to do is choose some water. So I'm choosing water, and once I do, notice that the plus mark has left. And I'm going to go over here to this little guy. And so I'm going to press, and notice when I press, the little X comes up. It's kind of hard to see, but wherever that X goes, that's what goes um, into the stamp itself. So now if you notice, um, this little guy is gone. Now there's some other things you can do to clean that up over there. But I want to uh, get rid of this family as well. But I don't want to use the same water that I used over here. So I go and I reset the uh, clone stamp by clicking the point of reference, little block right there. And when I do, and I bring my stamp back down, notice the little plus mark is back in. This water that they are in is a little rougher, so I'm going to try to catch um, this area here. And let's get rid of this gentleman. Come on over and take care of. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, now um, I have gotten rid of all these people, but notice there are some issues with the water and reflections within the water. Um, I think the repair tool would probably be easier to use in this case than the actual uh, stamp. Uh, itself. So I'm going to uh, merge all layers and I'm going to go over here with my repair tool try to repair this area to get rid of these reflections Now the reflections are gone. Let's see if it will work on these waves to try to merge these waves in together. That helped a little. It's kind of bringing everything uh, together, merging those areas together to make them look more fluid and not like there's a, an object out there, some kind of weird thing going on. All right, uh, let's see this issue here, maybe a little bit here. And this area here looks kind of funny, so let's see if we can repair that. There we go. Now that looks more natural. Now, we have a picture of my daughter standing alone on the beach. Looks pretty good.